is creatine a steroid? No, it's not. 100% most research, the best supplement that an addict can take. I'd have to agree with that. No, it's not. Is that your final answer? It's my final answer. Final answer? No. No. Yeah. Final answer? Yeah, no. Final answer? I don't think so, no. 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 Seem pretty, seem pretty confident. It's natural. It's natural. Yeah. I, I'm, you're telling me the answers here. I'm just asking the questions, girl. No. Um, it's the most studied compound and supposed to like bring water into the muscle. Do you implement creatine yourself? I do. Yes. Awesome. Damn. If that's what she does, five then grams daily. Five grams daily. <laughs> awesome. Well, everybody needs to get on that. If that's what she's doing. No, I think it's a supplement that you can use it to kind of help push yourself a little bit more, but it's creatine's naturally found in your body. So I wouldn't say it's considered a steroid. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Is creatine a steroid? This question goes out to all you moms out there that have been telling your kids, don't take creatine because it's a steroid. Well, I think most of you guys watching this video understand creatine is actually a natural occurring amino acid that's found in the body, as well as many of the food sources that we eat today. I think this myth comes from all the research studies that show the plenty of benefits that come about creatine monohydrate supplement and create all forms of creatine supplementation. And I think anytime that we see a supplement that has so many benefits, we automatically deem it as a steroid or not good for us. Well, in fact, we have plenty of data to support consistent creatine supplementation can be beneficial and very safe in many individuals, including women, including teenagers, athletes, etc. So don't listen to all the mass media out there, fam. Creatine is not a steroid. So we can, in fact, classify this statement as bullshit.